You know the drill. Mark Rogers TV rating every Power 5 conference schedule in America. So it's the Pac-12, the Big 12, the ACC, the Big 10, and the SEC, plus BYU and Notre Dame. We've made our way through the SEC and the ACC. We've got 12 days until kickoff on that Thursday. We've got 37 more schedules to get through. So, yes, this is a drill. We have started the Big Ten, and we started with Iowa at number 14. So we're going from the bottom of the barrel all the way to the top. Next up, Purdue at number 13. Looking at this schedule, face value, it's a tough schedule, especially for the Boilers, who, of course, are in the midst of a big struggle under Daryl Hazel taking over for Danny Hoke a couple years ago. Purdue plays in the West versus the East. The Big Ten East significantly better than the West right now. Not not a huge gap, but it's decided it's not an argument. Ohio State, Michigan State, the two best programs in the Big Ten right now in the East. So the East is better than the West. So Purdue plays in the West. Not every Eastern Division schedule is tougher than every Western Division schedule. There are a number of exceptions. So it's not like the West and the East and the SEC where I tried to find a team in the SEC East with a more difficult schedule than a team in the West. It just did not happen. But it's happening here. All right, Purdue. Again, they're in the West. The next thing we look at is the cross-division games. They only play two of the seven in the other division. Who are they? Well, they've got the annual date against Indiana on November 28th, so that's the lightest touch you can get in the Big Ten East. But they've got Michigan State on October 3rd. They have to go to East Lansing to take on Sparty, so that's difficult. So I was cross-checking these schedules over and over and over because I thought Purdue cannot have the 13th-rated schedule in the Big Ten because they play Michigan State, and they play a significant non-conference opponent in West Lafayette on September 19th, Virginia Tech. But you will see in our next few posts why Purdue is still down at number 13. Iowa checks in at number 14, and Purdue's schedule is much more difficult than Iowa's. Of course, again, the difficult um, cross-division game against Michigan State. They play all the toughies, of course, in their own division. That means Wisconsin, Nebraska, Minnesota in particular. They've got the nice game against Virginia Tech at home. They open up against a pretty decent Marshall team at home, or that's actually on the road in West Virginia. Their other two non-conference games are Indiana State and Bowling Green. So how do I come to this conclusion? Well, what I do is I check out the two divisions. So the SEC West is better than the East. The ACC Atlantic significantly better than the Coastal. The Big Ten East better than the Big Ten West. Okay, then I look at those cross-division games, and those are typically the biggest factor involved here. So in those three conferences, you've got 14 teams, seven in each division. So you only play two of the other seven teams in the conference, only two of the seven in the other division. So that could be a huge disparity. A team in the Big Ten West could be playing Ohio State and Michigan State doesn't happen this year, but they could be playing Ohio State and Michigan State. Somebody else could be playing Rutgers and Indiana. So that's a huge decided factor for teams being ranked where they are. And then next, we look at the non-conference slate. Some teams are scheduling Wisconsin in the Big Ten, taking on Alabama. Other teams not taking on anybody. Rutgers' biggest game in non-conference is Washington State, but Rutgers very highly rated among the Big Ten schedules, and I will show you why when we get to the Scarlet Knights. But again, it's Purdue with a difficult schedule, even though it's only 13th in the Big Ten, so Big Ten detractors. Take note here. There's a stretch of games for Purdue that they take on in the Big Ten. Michigan State, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, four consecutive weeks. That's a difficult October for The Boilers taking on Sparty, Minnesota, Bucky Badger, and the Huskers of Nebraska consecutive weeks. Purdue, good scheduling here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be good for Daryl Hazel's job uh, status in 2016, but it's the 13th rated schedule in the Big Ten, and we will compare and contrast as we go forward right here on Mark Rogers TV.